Let's first rehearse the 12 pairs of cranial nerves. First the special senses, olfaction and vision. The third, fourth and sixth cranial nerves serve eye movements. While the fifth nerve, the trigeminal nerve, is very important for the sensory innovation of the nasal cavity, oral cavity, the cornea and so forth. The facial nerve innervates the muscles of facial expression. Immediately next are the vestibulococcular nerve and the glossopharyngeal nerve. Then there is the vagus nerve that distributes from the larynx through the thorax and the abdomen, the accessory nerve and finally the nerve responsible for movements of the tongue, the hypoglossal nerve. In the normal MRI only the thickest of the cranial nerves are visible. This for instance is the optic nerve, the optic chiasm and the optic tract. Here is the 3D reconstruction. Now we are rotating to our horizontal position. The trigeminal passes in a flash, so let's magnify and reduce speed. Once more. This is the root, that is, the connection between the brainstem and the ganglion. A similar thing happens with the 7th and 8th cranial nerves. So let's introduce here as well some magnification and some delay. The artist who has created this model has tried to render as many cranial nerves as possible. Find out all the branches yourself. Finally, seen dorsally, one can appreciate several of the cranial nerves. That is, 7 and 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. Note also the peculiar course of the first spinal cervical nerve.